previously on the Crucible of NYC. So when I connect this barrel port into the, the input, you'll see that the solar PV um, icon came on, but also I heard a click. And you, as you see, the battery's charging at 100 watts. Like I said, it's gonna be no more than 100 to maybe 120 watts. Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. This is the Crucible of NYC. I'm your host, Domingo. So the last time that I did the review, it was about the Blue Eddy AC180. And what I did before was show you how to charge the Blue Eddy AC180 with a 12 volt battery using the DC PV input. And that was with the Red Odo Lithium Iron Phosphate 100 amp hour. So using the alligator clips and with the barrel port, you can connect it to the PV input. So what I did was I removed the lithium iron phosphate battery that I had on my DIY project. And I wanted to show you how to connect this in series. If you have two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, you can charge the Blue Eddy at 24 volts with 100 amp hours. So from the last time, it went up to like 100 to 110 watts of charging input. So I'm gonna show you now, once we connect it in series, we're gonna utilize one cable and we're gonna connect it from the positive of the Power Queen to the negative of the Red Odo. And then we're gonna use the alligator clips to connect it to the positive and the negative of the each battery and we're gonna finally connect the barrel port into the PV input that's gonna show you how much current is going to be coming in. So right now the state of charge of the Blue Eddy AC180 is at 89%. So once we start charging it, you'll see the increasing voltage. So right now what the first thing is you should do is that if you do decide to go with a connection of series from two 12 volt batteries to turn them into a 24 volt battery system, you need to make sure that you measure the voltages on the battery. So the Power Queen, I was utilizing the, um, the 20 amp charger just to boost it up a little bit because it was at about 13.3 volts and the Red Odo was at 13.5. Now, that's just a slight variation. It's not that big of a deal. Now, if it was lower, then there's something to be worried about because then what happens is that one battery starts to charge the other. So the higher one starts to discharge to go to the lower battery to charge that one to keep it at the same voltage. So if you see right now that the voltage is dropping on that battery on the power queen is because I just gave it a burst charge so that it can measure to around the same voltage. So remember that the red order was at 13.5 and this one was at 13.3, which is now at 13.692, 691 and dropping. So give me a moment, I'm gonna connect this battery and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's gonna look when it's finished. And like that folks, the batteries were connected. So what I did was is that I connected the negative battery, the negative terminal here to the positive terminal here on the power coin. And then what I did was is that I took my alligator clamps, my alligator clips, and I connected it to my voltmeter, positive to positive, negative to negative. And now you see that we're reading at 27.63 volts. So once that the Blue Eddy is at 27.3 volts, you know that once we connect the alligator clips, we're gonna connect the alligator clips to the terminals to then have the proper connection to the Blue Eddy. All right, folks, so once the battery is connected with the terminals negative to positive onto the other battery, and you connect your alligator clamps for the Blue Eddy AC180, and this is a fused cable, by the way, it's a 15 amp fused cable, and it's going to the bridge into my 10 g watt meter, and also, I have the meter, the fluke meter here is measuring at 27.136 volts. This is measuring it at 27.5 volts. We're going to take our barrel connector going into the DC PV input 
and once we connect it, we'll hear the, the Blue Eddy click, and then you'll start to see. Remember before it was at 113, 110 watts. So you see that we're charging it at 209 watts. And at the meter, it says we're charging it at eight amps, 26.49 volts at 215 watts coming from the meter. And it's as simple as that, 24 voltage. So 26.8 volts are the battery right now. We're pushing 8.15 amps and the Blue Eddy is reading 208 watts at 89% and it says at 0.6.7 hours this battery will be charged. So we're pulling about 206 watts consistent, we're looking good at 8.1615 amps. So I'm going to take my Kaiweed's uh, clamp meter and I'm gonna go around the positive and you're gonna see it's pulling 8.26 amps. So it's looking correct. Looks like all the information that's going by, looks like it's feeding the exact amount of information and data. So you're looking at about 8.1, 8.10 amps or eight amps that's coming through the cable at 24, 26 volts. It's gonna equate to about 200 watts. So I hope that this helps everyone who is in the market of buying a portable battery power station and a smaller unit and if you have two separate batteries that are 12 volt at 100 amp hours you can charge your blue eddy at about 200 watts and at least uh, the, the cost of buying one blue eddy uh, bc i think it's b300 they're they're pretty expensive but you have to understand that you're getting about i believe it's 50 volts or 52 volts i i, I don't remember the proper uh voltages but it's about three kilowatts so right now we're at 24 volts 100 amp hours which is two kilowatts so we have two kilowatts of power which the blue eddy ac 180 has one kilowatts of power so with the internal battery and your setup, you have three kilowatts of batteries, the same amount that you would get at a separate unit, but the separate three kilowatt battery or two kilowatt battery from Blue Eddy, plus the Blue Eddy is still the same three kilowatts. So if you do your math and if you play around and if you play smart, you can extend the battery life and extend the longevity of the usage of your Blue Eddy AC180. And if you have any questions, Please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, folks. Have a good one.